In this video, I'll show you how to connect your iPad Air to an external monitor, could be also a TV or even a projector. So the iPad Air 6th generation over here has a USB type C port. It does not have any HDMI port. So what do you do? You'll need one of these, which is a USB type C adapter to HDMI. Now, not all of these are working properly. This one I have tested it many times and I can vouch for it. I'm not sponsor. It's made by Pluggable and I'll put a link in the description if you want to get one of these from Amazon. This is just gonna output the signal from the iPad to your external display. It cannot input signals to the iPad. So let me demonstrate. I'll plug this end into my iPad and over here I'll need an HDMI cable. This is mine. I'll plug one end of this HDMI cable in the back of my monitor or TV. And now that I have connected in the back of my monitor, I'll connect the other end to this adapter. It's time to turn on the second screen. If this is a TV, you'll need obviously to select the right input. So over here I have connected to HDMI 1, so I'll select HDMI 1 on my TV. If you have a computer monitor, you may not need to do this. And here we go. The iPad is now connected to your external monitor. And as you see here, the lag is very minimal since we connected via a wire. I know that many TVs also connect with the iPad wirelessly, but every time I have tested those, there is a slight lag. This means you cannot play any games. Now, if you're not happy with the setup, we can change a few things. So on your iPad, you're gonna open the settings menu and then you're gonna go on the left side under display and brightness. On the right side, you're gonna go down and under displays, you're gonna see your display, the one of your iPad, and then the external one. You can uh, click on the external display and over here you're gonna have, uh, you'll be able to choose if you want to enable HDR or you're gonna want to have a st standard dynamic range. It depends if your di other display is compatible with HDR or not. Now, if we go back, you can also set a different arrangement. So let me tap here. And as you notice right now, it's in mirroring mode, but you can also use the external display while has an extended screen of your iPad. And to do so, you need, first of all, to place your screen, your iPad in space where the other display. So let's say you're gonna use the iPad over here on the right side of your external display. You'll need to place the iPad on the right side and your display or TV will be on the left side. And then you need to click on this small toggle because this is what enables mirror display. We don't want this, let's say. Wait a few seconds and here we go. This is not mirroring what is going on my iPad. This is completely different. And unfortunately, you won't be able to use it simply with your finger or your finger on your iPad, since this is not a touchscreen. You'll need a mouse or a keyboard with a trackpad if you want to go over here. So if you have a mouse, you'll be able to, like a, on a PC computer, to go on the left side, because this is where we place it and you're gonna see the cursor continuating on the screen and you'll be able to work separately from your iPad screen. If you do not have a mouse, you can still use the second monitor. Let's say, for example, I open Safari here. Uh, I'm on YouTube here and it, let's say I want to send this, what I'm seeing here on the other screen. Well, let me play this video. And then if I press the three dots on top, I can set move to display and you see it's now going on my secondary display unfortunately i won't be able to touch it anymore since i do not have a mouse and if you want to close this window that you open without the mouse click back on the app itself and it will go back on your ipad you'll be able to exit this way thanks for watching i hope this was useful if so please leave a like subscribe comment down below Subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.